All right, folks, so what we have here is a WowTac or a tactical flashlight that is supported and manufactured, I believe, by Thru-Night flashlights. What I wanted to do is a quick video on this flashlight, talking a little bit about its construction makeup, a little bit about how it works, and then I want to take it outside and do some beam shots. But before we do all that, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. Okay, so hopefully everybody made it back. Before we start this video, I did want to say that I was contacted by A Tactical or WowTac, and they asked if I would review, or if I would mind reviewing this flashlight. And of course I said yes, I like to review flashlights and I like to make YouTube videos. So let's go ahead and get this open and see how the flashlight ships. Comes with some padding. It comes with an instruction manual, but we don't read these. comes with the flashlight, the A-Tactical flashlight. Now you can unscrew either the tail cap or the head of this flashlight, and I'm pretty sure you have to do that to remove this piece of cardboard, otherwise the flashlight won't work. And it comes turned on. That's why that cardboard's in there. Uh, it looks like it comes with a pocket clip, which we'll install in a little bit comes with a charging cable for the battery that's included. Comes with some spare O-rings and uh, that looks like everything. But it's packed pretty well inside that box. Okay, let's talk about this flashlight a little bit. And the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the LED that the flashlight uses. It uses the Cree XPL LED and uh, it's a high density LED bulb that's actually capable of producing pretty good lumen output at lower powers. It's been adopted by a lot of flashlight manufacturers, so I'm not surprised to see it used by A-Tactical. But uh, you'll see it in many other flashlights by many other brands as well. It's a quality emitter. So if you take a look at the bezel of the flashlight, you'll notice that it has some crenulations. A lot of people say this is a requirement for tactical flashlights because you can use it as a DNA sampler. Anyway, however you choose to use this flashlight, I did want to mention that it does have that. Also, it has a very deep well where your LED is, and it's very smooth inside. And that should help with the, with the casting of the light and the brightness of the light. There we go. So you can see that the flashlight has five different modes. Low, 24 lumens for six days. Medium, 140 lumens for 18 hours. High, 460 lumens for five hours. Turbo gets you 1100, I'm sorry, 1150 lumens for three hours. Strobe gets you 1150 lumens for four hours. SOS is at 1150 lumens. It has a uh, throw of 227 meters, which is a little over 900 feet. It's got 19,200 candela, so it's probably gonna be a little bit floody. Uh, impact resistance is 1.5 meters, and it's waterproof IPX7, which is one meter of submersion. The AS1 V2 runs off of an 18650 lithium ion battery. It ships with its own battery, which we'll take a look at in a minute, but any 18650 battery should do. Now running with this particular battery, you get 3.7 volts at 3400 milliamp hours. It's working voltage is 2.7 to 4.2, so if you charge this battery fully to 4.2 volts, you should be good to go. It has a turn off switch on the back and on the side. So this flashlight weighs in at uh, 3.04 ounces, which makes it nice and lightweight. It has a tail cap clicky on the back that you can use to turn the flashlight on. And then you can use the side switch to cycle through your various modes. And we just talked about those. Long hold will get you strobe over two seconds. Now the flashlight does have memory mode, so when you turn it off, it should come back on in the last mode that you were using, and it appears that it does. Let's go ahead and turn that off. The side button has pretty good resistance, and it won't accidentally turn your flashlight on and off. You need to turn your flashlight on and off by using the tail cap. This flashlight is 5.03, maybe it's 5.3 inches long and one inch in diameter. So you should be able to use it with certain flashlight holders that maybe are on your bicycle handlebars or on the uh, rail of your AR-15. One of the things I like to do with these flashlights is index the pocket clip to the exact opposite side of the side click. So that way I can feel that in my hand and know right where my button is if I need to change modes. Let's go ahead and take this flashlight apart and take a look inside. As I mentioned earlier, both the head of the flashlight and the tail of the flashlight come off. 
you likely can reassemble this flashlight in a reverse direction if you want to switch the direction of your pocket clip. Inside you'll see the A-Tactical USB rechargeable battery. Um, I've seen these batteries in the past and I've never owned one. What makes this battery uh, most unique is that it has a charging port on the side of the battery that you plug a USB micro plug into. You plug your USB cable in the battery like this. Other than that, it looks to be a pretty standard battery. It is a little bit longer and puts more tension on the spring in the flashlight. I'm sure the flashlight is, is built to accommodate that, but uh, keep in mind you can use regular 18650 batteries in the A-Tactical A1S flashlight. When your battery is charging, you will get a red light that turns green once the battery is fully charged. All right, so now we talked a little bit about this flashlight, some of its specification and how it works. What I want to do now is I want to take it outside and do some beam shots. Okay, one of the first kind of videos I like to do is just to check the engine chassis and see what I could see if I was broke down on the side of the road. So we're going to turn the flashlight on and we're going to step through all the modes and see what we can see. So here we are back at low, medium, high, turbo, and SOS in case I need to do an SOS signal in the engine compartment. As you can see, medium would probably work just fine. Alright, so here I am walking around with the flashlight. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cycle through some of the modes. So that would be the turbo. Low, medium, high, turbo. Alright, so it's pretty cold out here tonight, around 27 degrees. So I'm enduring this suffering for the Smoke and Ape Nation. I hope everybody's appreciative. No, I'm just kidding. I appreciate you guys for watching and I appreciate WildTac and Through Night for sending me this flashlight for review. Let's go ahead and get some more shots. I'm actually quite impressed with this flashlight, especially at $28.99. I'll include links to where this flashlight can be purchased below. Your best bet is to pick it up off of Amazon.com. I think it's going for $28.99 right now. It seems to be a pretty good price for a flashlight with this kind of capability and this kind of construction. I definitely would chalk it up as a solid, dependable, budget EDC flashlight. 